well. Tricked. I mean, what are you gonna do? There are some nades. They are prepping the execute for A, but there there are two guys on A and one on a fast flank on a fast um, rota rotation. So first off, they need to go through Roje to get slashed in. Spots two players, gets one down, and well, Hunden, you maybe thrown all those nades towards uh, A, but. Seems like you're not going anywhere. Roje, wow. reading the play perfectly. Nice Probably got the call that uh, there were some nades thrown by uh, from uh, the economy is good. They always have all the nades, the utility is there, everything. But complete opposite story for Trix. Now the aggressive play towards mid. Roje playing behind the fountain, hiding from the flash. And well, getting the one kill also spots the AWP. Aker wants to peek as well, but Hunter will wait for uh, the reinforcements. But Roje gets another kill. Five more bullets in the clip, so he needs to be careful. We'll smoke it off once again. Farlig is there to support him. That's the bomb down as well. Hooksy is watching for their flank. I'm not liking this angle. We've seen this time and time again, but this time around, Trip is not expecting it. OJ with another kill. Triple kill for him to secure the 15th round. Bobski 1v5. Wow. He actually saw him, yeah. Yeah, not really being uh, fully behind the angle. Oh, Roje, there we go. This could be another one of his rounds. Gets the first kill, spotted another one player. Oh my god, Shush, not re realizing he jumped down. Roje, now spotting the two players. I think he can call out that both are there. Farlik, he knows. Shush, ooh, just around the corner. Farlik has the defuse. Will he stick it? No, will not. Shush, not the AWP player, but he will close it out. Trouble for him. And tricked, well, they survive for another round. And Shush, with that triple kill, it's only his 10th frag. So, talking about the... Uh, debated. Me, uh, yeah. Basically, yeah, Basso, another kill for him, it's triple, still on for the ace. It's uh, Hoxie moving behind the Molotov, he gets taken out, same goes for Basso, Console is in an interesting position, but considering there's two of them, I feel like... What? Okay. okay. I, I wanted to say, I feel like they're gonna, just gonna double peek him and he's done, but they, they didn't expect the elevated angle. He wins the round and Copenhagen Flames, they... Uh, and that was after attack pass, yeah. they were like... Hey guys. Ooh. And oh. that's what I'm talking about. Farley going tr just for the blind shot. He doesn't need to be top fragger. Yeah, he can just get you a double kill right here. <laughs> that was uh I I'm not sure I'm not sure you saw it, but uh, the first one was straight through a smoke. He see he saw nothing. Uh lucky shot by Farley there, but hey. You miss how, Ouch. how does it go? You miss hundred percent of shots you don't take, so Palik, a triple kill for him, on for the ace. It's a 3v2 situation. Bobski once again, I feel like Bobski is real good at uh, making these solo plays, getting those solo kills, but I feel like Trick are not really exploiting that to the to the maximum. Shush and Borup. The two guys in question. Seems like they wanna go for the B site. Uh, they can cross at the moment. There's no one spotting from connector or short. Although there is Basso, as you can see in mm. ladder room. They can easily clear this, but they want to go they in dry. They're not... They oh, oh, okay. Shush, unlucky for Farlik. Farlik is this for the, an ace? Ace, the first ace of the day? Farlik and easily done. Easy. Nicely done. You said he doesn't need to talk. Ten frames definitely have a better buy, but Hunter will start it okay. off with the CZ. Bobski. I thought that he might do that the last time around, but... It doesn't work uh, either way. And look at Borup, I mean. Just the last Flanking round. Flanking again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did the same play. He was immediately punished, but it doesn't stop him from doing it twice. And he gets rewarded. Almost. For a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roje responding. And once again, Copenhagen Flames. Copenhagen Flames um, kind of looking lost to me. They wanted to go for B, but that smoke from uh, Shash kind of stopped them. And it looked like they hit the brick wall and, well, what now, basically? Well, they are lost, like, for <laughs> last 10 rounds. And now two guys are going to drop down pop, make a lot of nothing so disjointed. I don't know. I don't know. 30 seconds left. Yep. Handen pick up the secondary op from Farlik, so he will have that to work with. A really slow attack from Copenhagen Flames, but here we go. Handen. Ooh. 
If he hit that flick, death would be. Yeah, that would have been insane. But ten seconds. Let's see. And then goes on top of the side. Oh, he missed the jump. He could have punished them, killed the the bomb planter, maybe. So it can't happen. But Akara, I okay. mean, he's covering his teammate real well. Roje. Triple kill for him, 12 HP. He needs an ace if he wants to clutch this, but they know where he is, and I don't think he was winning this one. Aker will trust him in Handen. He, oh, he's gonna stick it. What? Okay. He will move. That's with the kill. Probably with the kill. Roji, not checked, but Aker clears that. Aker still alive. Triple kill for him. Bobski with the one. Aker stepping up when it mattered the most. And it's going to be Bobski against Konsol. And let's see it. Oh, ooh, no. moving Bobski. One tap to seal the deal. It's going to be tricked on 12th and covering Iron Flames with no money. Acre before. A couple of players tagged from tricked. And well, let's see Farleg. There we go. Finally, some impact from, from him. Shush is, you know, going for the same position. Maybe a bit of a surprise. Bobski with the lurk this time around. Gets the kill on Basso. 2v2. It could all be on this round. Farley in heaven. Hooksy in CT quad. They know Shush is somewhere towards the mid. Spotted in Olaf. And Bobski. He's been missing from the map a long time. He did get the kill from Z, but he. You know, in their minds, he could have gone anywhere, but Farley with the upwards position. Gets another kill, and now it's a 1v2 for Shush. 30 seconds to go, and, and Farley finally.